hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Juanita and today I will show you how to use dodging and burning. So there are some important things before we go right into the image that you need to know. First of all, you need to know that there are several ways to do dodging and burning, but today I will show you my way to do it. The second thing is that dodging and burning is a non-destructive technique that uses the light and the dark of the image to even out some skin tones or also some part of the image that needs to be smoother. And the third thing is that for dodging and burning, we are gonna use a couple of curved layers and then we are gonna invert them and work on them as masks. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's go right into the image and I will show you how to do it. Okay, wait, before that, please subscribe. I'm gonna give you the time to go and subscribe. Please go and do it. Okay, and now let's go to the dodging and burning. Before starting with the dodging and burning, I did the cleaning. I have a video explaining how I do it. We are gonna go to the adjustment panel, select course, and then here in the middle, we are gonna push it up and the image is getting quite bright, but that's what we want for this dodging layer. Then we need to invert this mask, holding Command and pressing I. Then the mask is turning black, and this means that the effect is hidden. Let's call this layer dodge. And now we are gonna do the same thing, go to curves, but now this line we are gonna put it down. And now it's darker, let's put it there, that's what we need. Remember to invert this, and let's call this burn. Now let's go to the brush, and here we need to check that it's white, because the mask is black, so we need to reveal the effect. Then we go to the brush setting, I just have this that it says smoothen, and here in opacity I put 5, and here in flow I have it in 100%. Then we are going to go to dodge, and we are going to start working on that layer. The hardness is zero and the size is depending on the area that you need to work on. I will start working with the dodging layer. And first I'm gonna do all the large areas because if I zoom in and start working on the macro dodging and burning, probably I will be doing more work than really needed. So this technique is a lot also about patience. <laughs> you need to just like do it little by little. It's not gonna be a way, like a faster way to do it. You just need to do it little by little, spot, and then go to the other spot. So just enjoy the process as well. So this is how I'm doing with the dodging layer. Let's see before and after. And now I'm gonna go to burn layer. So now I'm gonna start with that one. So I'm gonna go and aim for those bright spots that are making my skin look uneven. And then as I told you before, I'm starting working with the large areas. And then we're gonna go more in a macro dodging and burning but that's later. Now what I'm gonna do is to create a folder for the dodging and burning layers. So now we can see better the results. The image is looking better and better, and you can see that some parts are smoother now. Here is the before and after. It's not finished yet, we need to keep working on it, but I want to show you what the dodging and burning is doing. Now we are going to work closer in the image. 
So for this, I'm gonna create some layers that are gonna be my helping layers. So I can see better all those spots that I need to correct. So to create these helping layers, I'm gonna go to the adjustment panel. I'm gonna select hue and saturation. And then I put a saturation all the way down. So it's gonna be black and white. And then I go to the blending modes and select color. Then we go to adjustment panel. We select curves and we are gonna push it a little bit down so we can see better the spots that we need to work on. Let's put these two layers in a new folder. Let's call it help. And then with this, we can start going even deeper in our picture doing the dodging and burning. Some people like to start from the beginning with the helping layers just to see better all the spots. But sometimes I just like to do it without in the beginning when I'm doing the large areas. And then when I'm gonna start doing these close-ups uh, or the macro dodging and burning, I use the helping layers. So we can see much better. So you can start if you want from the beginning using the helping layer, the black and white layers as I show you, uh, it's up to you. Something that I would recommend you is to work with a small brush. So always try to have a very small brush, of course, depending on the area that you're gonna work. Um, but for me, it works better when it's very small and I have really control of the area that I'm working on. Because sometimes it's very little the space that I need to fill in. So it's better to have it very small and to go many times in that spot than just to go with a big brush over that and it's gonna spill maybe in different areas. What I think is very important to know is what is gonna be the final output of the image. So you know what level of detail you need to be working on. So if this is gonna be printing in a large scale, then I need to work much closer. But if it's gonna be just for web, I don't need to zoom so close and remove everything because no one is gonna see that. Something that I forgot to tell you is that the opacity of the brush, I move it between five and 10. So it's up to you, but I prefer to have it always in five just to have more control. And I would recommend you not to go over 10, just work between five and 10. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please comment if you have any questions or if you want me to do another tutorial about another thing. And remember to subscribe. And well, see you next time.